All right, let's talk real quick about the menu. Yeah, the, the absolutely. fall menu. I you really I usually normally don't do this. You know, I'm a foodie, and I, I love to see what's going on. I love to see the menu changes, as as a lot of chefs do around town, not all. But let's talk about the uh, the dinner menu for the fall. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so we just rolled out our fall dinner menu and lunch menu two weeks ago. Um, we do about two large menu changes a year where we pretty much just throw everything in the garbage and start from scratch. You know, we keep the steaks pretty much the same. I think that we got a really nice selection of steaks that provide uh, a wide variety on whatever you want at any given time. I'd say that's a damn good selection. You know, it, it works. I, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, we, we do smaller menu changes and do an item or two here and there throughout the year, but it's that fall, winter, and spring, summer menu that we really just start from scratch. Right. Um, and honestly, I, I love, love our fall menu. Yeah. Um, obviously, I might be a little bit biased, but I really think that we're putting our best foot forward with this menu. Um, I think that the flavors are all really just what you want in fall, what you want in winter, those deep, dark flavors, things that make you want to sit in front of a fire and have a glass of scotch or a nice deep dark red wine, um, you know, from your squashes and sage, um, you know, to curry, like, you know, we we're using curry on this menu, a um, little out of the ordinary for a American steakhouse, but it's just those flavors play so well together and really, um, you know, make you think of fall. I love the burger. We talked about this in the past, simple. Nothing, no, nothing fancy. It's not this tall. It's, it's really quality beef, quality ingredients, done, right? You know, like you said, I, I'm never going to be the guy that wants the triple layer Western barbecue burger yeah. with an onion ring and Cheese barbecue sauce. Place, yeah. You know, I've had some of those that, yeah. uh, you know, are good, but when it all boils down to it, I'm a really simple guy. Yeah. You know, if I want a burger, I just want the best burger that I can yeah. put on the plate. Fresh ground meat, great artisan bun, you know, from mm -hmm. the local bakery, good quality cheese, nice thick cut bacon, yeah. onion and pickle, what else you need? Uh, so the bacon here, in case you don't know, I, I would argue everything's really great here, but correct me if I'm wrong, if there had to be one menu item um, in the past two years, um, what would you say the crowd favorite is? Without a doubt, the bacon. The maple cured? Um, so applewood smoked uh, awesome. bacon that we cut about an inch thick, uh, render it out so it's nice and tender, um, then top it with Vermont maple syrup. Um, yeah. You know, no pancake syrup or anything. No. It's just, if you're gonna do something like putting just bacon on a plate, oh. you gotta make sure that the ingredients are great. You know, they it's say- It's a meal, it's a meal, literally. Oh I, yeah. By itself. Absolutely. It's fabulous. That'll never come off the and menu. It's I really think that people great. revolt. It's really great with a bourbon, I might add. <laughs> What's not great with so, a bourbon? Yeah. So. All right. Well, I think we covered everything, man. I'm real proud of you and, Mag and Megan and the kids. Because, Absolutely. Because it's a, a, it's a total team effort. There's always, in any bar restaurant biz, right, there's always turnaround. It's just part of it. Yeah. But you've, you've really, guys have done a nice job maintaining like the core Absolutely. of your staff that, that's that's a plus we are incredibly incredibly fortunate with the people that have bought into this restaurant um you know that have become our family um you know it, like you said any restaurant you know when you open up a restaurant you hire twice as many people as you need because they're all just going to fall by the wayside mm -hmm. um we didn't have that issue here um you know, we found people that really care, that we care about, mm -hmm. um, that will go out there and they live, breathe, and die by Benchmark. And, you know, they are what make this place special. Well, they're proud of it. Well, um, it's, it's always nice when someone has a place to go to work that they can be proud of. We, and uh, uh, we're proud of you guys. We're proud of Benchmark. Uh, and I'm grateful for the work, pal. Absolutely. Thanks for everything. Yeah, man. I am no criminal, but I think that I can see How a man could want something so bad he'd do about anything You're too proud to tell me, but you 
know just what I mean And of course I'd never ask you in spite of everything So far and I don't